Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. First of all, I just want to point out I'm quite tired. I should actually get some sleep, but I was so excited when CPS2 dropped for the analog pocket that I was like, let me get a video. Let me try and run an update and we'll run it together and see if it runs. And hopefully it will help you guys. And uh, hopefully we can all be playing some CPS2 on the analog pocket. Now, reading Hoteko's Patreon post, Hoteko says not all games are working um, so some games that require more than 20 megabytes for graphics are not working yet so there'll be uh, another beta in uh, March which will bring the rest of the games but we've got plenty of games for now we're going to go in there and check it so in the top left here I've got uh, Retro Driven's latest pocket updater over here I've got my downloads folder where I've already downloaded the CPS2 uh, pocket uh, beta zip so again if you head over to patreon this is what you will get i've scanned it it's clean and this is the root of my memory card and this is the assets folder in the memory card so let's let's start off by uh extracting this okay always shows up on my other screen because i try and keep this screen tidy for you guys okay so we've got that here let's just delete the zip file just to keep everything clean and tidy uh okay so here we go so we're in 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 this now i'm just gonna drag this all over to the memory card now and uh it should here we go we're getting some stuff copying okay so we are good so we've got some stuff on it okay excellent so we've got uh, a jt cps2 folder in there okay no assets there at the mo uh in common this is where the roms will get generated so we'll have this folder open while we're running the updater to see if it does actually pull the roms but in the meantime let's go in here and have a look at all the json files which will give us an idea of the games that are available so we've got 19xx uh, 1944 wow aliens versus predator i know some people are going to be really happy with that armored uh, armored warriors battle circuit always kind of like that game it's a bit weird but i kind of liked it capcom sports club again i know people that like that uh Daimahu or Dungeon and Dragons, the first one, uh, Tower of Doom, and oh, is that the first or the second one? It's probably the first one. Um, I can't remember wh which one is which, to be honest. Eco Fighters, Giga Wing. Oh, I love Giga Wing. So glad that's uh, that's one of the ones that's released. Now, remember, we've not got all of them. The ones that use 20, more than 20 megabytes for, for graphics are not going to be here. So here we go. I'm just going to scroll down the list. You can read it for yourself, but we've got Mega Man 2, Mighty Pang. Pocket Fighter, butter being excellent, love it. Uh, okay, powered, uh, powered gear, strategic variant armor equipment. Man, I'm so tired. I'm having difficulty reading this. Okay, we've got Pro Gear, we've got Puzzle Loop. Um, is that Quiz? Okay, I thought of maybe Quiz and Dragons. Oh, Ring of Destruction. Okay, Slam Masters Two, bang in. Okay, we've got Street Fighter Alpha Two, uh, Alpha Warriors Dreams. Okay, we haven't got Alpha Three there, so I'm guessing. That one uses more than... Oh, no, we have got Alpha 3. It's there. It's there. Uh, we've got Gem Fighter, which is, you know, the, the ones with the little Street Fighter players. So we have got... Wow. We're eating good in 2023. And we've got Super Turbo. Now, I don't have a dock, so... Playing a lot of these games in handheld mode, I'm not sure how I'm going to cope with the two buttons at the back and, and the analog pockets D-pad. But I am excited. I am happy. I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of games uh, here. So let's go ahead and run the pocket updater. Okay, so do you want to check the settings again? Okay, delete, skip, cause. No, okay, so... Uh, and manage cause. So this is the same memory card I was using yesterday. I haven't formatted it or anything. And I'm sorry if I'm... If I've said some of this stuff before, if I'm if I'm repeating myself again, apologies for being tired, but I really, really wanted to get this out there today. Um, and OK, so this I've only got the PC Engine CD uh, highlighted and hopefully, hopefully it will just pick up um, the JSON files and generate the ROMs uh, for us. So let's have a look. So let's go into common, because if this is working and slowly, slowly here, we should start roms uh we should start seeing roms being generated so let's update the pocket pick our drive which is going to be the e drive and let's just go and click update pretty sure i clicked it okay is it okay ah okay so i'm doing this just too soon uh some of uh the roms are not in the archive but it's downloading some, so it's doing Aliens versus Predator there. Um, I spoke to Retro Driven um, um, uh, earlier on, and I think uh, he said he should have most of them. So hopefully most of them are in there. If not, then he's going to be working on it, and he's going to be... Uh, 
he's going to be adding those um, soon or, or very, very shortly. So hopefully we should start seeing some ROMs in here. Uh, I might just uh, leave this process running and then I'll speed it all up and I will give you guys, um, yeah, I'll start talking again at the end of the video because I don't think I can keep it entertaining for that long while the stuff's downloading because it might take a little bit of time. Okay, legit guys, that took a long time. So if you're, if you're going to use an update and you're going to do all the CPS2 in one blast, given the fact it's getting the assets from archive.org and often the bandwidth is uh, very, very slow. So the speed you're getting, uh, the bandwidth is limited and the speed you're getting is slow. But let's have a look over here. So it's got a few games. These are the assets updated and the assets skipped. So assets updated, we've got Aliens vs Predator, Armed Warriors, that's Dungeon and Dragons, and we've got a few of the Dungeon and Dragons games here, so I guess different variations of the ROM. That looks like the same one. We've got Giga Wing over here, Mighty Pang, Puzzle Loop, Ring of Destruction, again a variation of that. Street Fighter Alpha 3, Alpha 2, Street Fighter Zero, again, which is Alpha. Uh, so not too many games, more like variations of the same ROM. Then we've got Super Street Fighter 2, okay, and then we have got super street fighter 2 turbo so not a massive amount now this is what is skipped down here so we can see it's definitely skipped more than it's got now this could be down to a number of things it could be down to the fact um some of the json files may have issues uh and if that is the case then i'm sure hotego will release an update maybe next week uh, again i'm just kind of basing this on guesswork here i'm a bit tired so my attention to detail isn't the greatest at the moment and in the two hours I, I was waiting for this i went and showered i went and brushed my teeth i went to use the bathroom i put the kids to bed i've pretty much done a lot and then i kind of came back to it and it was still happening um so yeah it's got some of them uh, let's go ahead and have a look at them. Before we do, if we have a look at this folder here, we've got 36 items and there was two, there was like a readme and another file in here. So we've got 34 uh, files all together. Here you go. These were the two files that are already in here and there's 34 new ones, but it's up and running at least. Uh, if you really want, you can convert them manually. I've got a video on how to convert uh, roms manually i might give that a shot later i'll see how i feel tomorrow i've got to do the news video tomorrow so that's going to take up a big section uh of my day to be honest so and then i'll look into this after but let's uh let me go over to the analog pocket now and we're going to look at a few games i'm not really going to play them we're just going to run them and uh, just kind of see how they run guys let's have a look at some cps2 games now so the first game i tried was alien versus predator now the sound did not work in this game and i was like oh no there's an issue with a cps2 sound now this was the only game that had an i had an issue with the sound and then i tried some other games so one thing that i do recommend is when you want to select the game because we don't have all of them we're going to have loads of json files here that don't lead to any assets go through the menu like you're going to see me do and uh, go to load rom and pick a rom through the menu but i'm not going to talk uh, we're going to play some videos and you can hear the sound of the actual game uh, and then what we're going to do is stick around for the end where we can uh, I'll, I'll go through like my final thoughts
So guys, this brings us to the end of the video. Exciting times, uh, CPS2 is here. Um, we haven't got the whole CPS2 set, but uh, as Hotego said in his Patreon post that we should be getting the rest of them in uh, March. Now, there are like some issues, but they're only like minor issues. There may be some, some issues with the JSON files. Now, a lot of this is just speculation. I could be completely wrong, but we didn't get all the fire. Uh, we didn't get all the ROMs. It missed more assets than it actually fetched via the auto updater. So this could, this could be down to a number of things. This could be that the auto updater doesn't have the correct ROM files. It could be the JSON's not the JSON files aren't giving the right instructions. I'm not too technical, so I'm just speculating here. But what usually happens is these things get fixed, whether Hotego uh, and team uh, release another CPS2 zip uh, for, for next Friday, just an updated one, uh, which uh, resolves any of the issues that might be on Hotego and team's end. Uh, and the other thing would be the guys on the updaters that I always say work extremely hard. Um, they may just do updates on there. And now, guys, this took a long time. Like, I, I wasn't expecting this video to take so long. But, you know, once I started something, it was difficult to, uh, to just kind of let it go. So what I ended up doing was it took almost two hours to download. I think was it a 33 ROMs or something we said earlier. It took quite a long time from archive.org. Obviously, it was checking stuff. It was skipping stuff. So make sure if you are gonna run for an updater don't have it where you think you're gonna run your updater 
and it's gonna come instantly uh, it's probably quicker to do it manually if you've got like a main set and you convert them over yourself but if you are going to use an auto updater it's fetching the stuff from archive.org it is going to take some time so i would recommend if you're going to do it do it get on with your day go out you know do the things that you like doing um but yeah cps2 is here i'm excited it's just a shame that the fighting games they're not going to be so playable you've got two buttons at the back uh so that that makes it difficult and the d-pad isn't the best for fighting games it's not bad i can kind of do moves and stuff on there but honestly it's it's far from the best controller but if you have got a dock then uh wow you can whack in a couple of arcade sticks and you've got some very very good cps1 and cps2 fighting games now so 2023 remains an exciting time for the analog pocket um there's still so much more to come and things are just maturing for this and and this is going to be a great year but guys i'm going to wrap the video up here uh, as always thank you for watching thank you for your time uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel then uh, a subscription and a like is really appreciated and it really really does help but guys see you around pixel cherry ninja out